Hello, this is Jim Michaels with the Hickler Heights Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I'd like to share with you just a short message from the Bible today. Did you know the church that you read about in the, in the Bible, the church that Jesus died for, the church that he established, which he said it was my church in Matthew 16 and verses 18, that he's the savior of that church, that he's the head of that body? That church met on the first day of the week or on Sunday to worship and serve God. Now, we know this because of what we read about it in the, in the Bible. In Acts, the 20th chapter, in verses 7, it says, Now on the first day of the week when the disciples came together to break bread, that's when they broke bread. That's when they partook of the Lord's Supper was on the first day of the week. And then in 1 Corinthians 16, in verses 1 and 2, talking about our giving, verse 2 says, though, on the first day of the week, let each of you lay something aside. So now they came together on the first day of the week, at least to do two items of worship that we can see in these verses, and that was to break bread or partake of the Lord's Supper, and that's the time that they gave as well. So the church here at Hickor Heights, that's exactly what we do. We come together on the first day of the week to worship and serve God. It's on that day that we partake of the Lord's Supper. It's on that day that we lay by in store or we contribute to the Lord and to the Lord's work. That's the only time we see in the New Testament that they did these two items. I understand that they came together on other days of the week, but this was the normal day that they came together to worship and serve God. It was on the first day of the week. Now, rightly so. In the Revelation letter, he called it the Lord's Day. We can see that was the day that the Lord himself was resurrected from the dead, early on the first day of the week. We can see that the church was established on the first day of the week. In the book of Acts, they, they were gathered together on the day of Pentecost. The day of Pentecost occurred on Sunday or the first day of the week. Now, Paul also said this in Colossians 2 and verse 16. He said, So let no one judge you in food or in drink or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths. Now what he means by let no one judge you, that is, let no one condemn you. That's not the day that the New Testament church met for worship, of partaking of the Lord's Supper and giving. It was not on the Sabbath day. It was up on the first day of the week. Now, the law that you and I are under is the law of Christ, Galatians 6 and verses 2. When they observed the Sabbath, it was under the law of Moses. But the New Testament church came together upon the first day of the week, our own Sunday, to break bread, to give, to sing, to pray, and to be taught, to be edified and strengthened and built up. Hope the lesson has been of some benefit to you. Thank you so much for listening.